What is going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me on this Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, wherever you may be for another awesome episode of Music of Destruction. Bringing you the best in metal related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. If you know the drill, if you guys missed anything in the past couple of weeks, click the I bring down the menu. The top five videos from the previous week are there as well as the live stream for the Crypt Underground Metal Radio Show, by the way, which is exclusive to members only. Right now, you can join the channel for just $2.49. That is ongoing for your first month, then $4.99 thereafter. Remember to subscribe and turn on that bell so you don't miss anything. One of the hardest working channels on the platform in the niche of metal. Upfront, honest, opinionated, and brutally critical. If you don't like that, go watch somebody else. Welcome to Album Ranking Wednesdays here on the channel. Once again tonight, we are doing a ranking of an amazing, brutal death metal band from Nashville, Tennessee with Brodquin. Now, I know many of you may not know about this band, but they are a band that kind of slipped under the radar for some strange reason. I do know there are some people that I've talked to who know about this band and enjoy them quite a lot, uh, but a lot of people find them to be one-dimensional. They're just a straight-up fucking brutal attack on all of your senses through their three full lengths, two EPs, and they have a couple of splits, a demo, etc. Now, one of the cool things about this band, though, is that raw sound that they've always kept. They never catered to trends or modernity, uh, or modernity, sorry, or sounding like trendy at all. This has been a straight savage band ever since their inception back in 1998, which is where, uh, when they formed, sorry, in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, the band's name is derived from a French torture method that was devised during medieval times. So, how cool! Is that now the band has been quite consistent during their time together like I said with two splits two EPs a demo three full lengths as well as a box set now the current lineup is as follows we have Mike Bailey on guitars Jamie Bailey on bass and vocals Joaquin Chavez on guitars and Brennan Shackelford doing the drums this is the current lineup by the way all right let's get into the ranking coming in at number five we have the EP prelude execution released in 2003 on unmatched brutality records this was kind of like a, a preview of what was to come on the methods of execution full length there's two tracks here of just grinding savage madness I know a lot of people will say well do they have that grindcore influence in terms of speed and chaos yes they do but it's very much rooted in that guttural gross just insane death metal very chaotic brutal death metal not so much got slower parts in it at all, it's just straight speed and sonic fucking insanity, brutality, depravity. Everything you could want from a brutal death metal band and their production stuck to the raw side of things through all their releases which I really appreciate. Prelude to Execution has two insanely fast, driven, crazy fucking tracks. It's pretty awesome. Prelude to Execution, the EP gets number five. Coming in at number four, their most recent offering in the EP category with Perpetuation of Suffering released in 2021 on Unmatched Brutality Records. Once again, they're two new tracks, really savage, aggressive, and fucking sonically brutal stuff here. Approaching new levels of extremity in a lot of ways, but this band has always been one that's pushed the fucking envelope in that direction of the most insanely demented, brutal speeds, aggression, and dominance. And they stand at the top of the hill when it comes to brutal death metal in my eyes other than Cryptopsy and Nile. Uh, Broad Quinn will always be one of those bands to me that's ahead of the pack. And this fucking EP is pretty goddamn savage. And definitely one I'm going to be picking up. I want to get everything on this list. Uh, and this is a pretty awesome fucking EP. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Two tracks. Awesome stuff. Coming in at number three, Methods of Execution. Released in 2004 on Unmatched Brutality Records, this is straight visceral violence. There's nothing here that is going to uh, slow down. There's no slow down. It's not going to induce slower chugging, head banging like some of these clowns that listen to fucking slam or tech death. Uh, this is absolute insanity, down to a T. Uh, very, very. Uh, insane. This is like definitely sounds like methods of execution. It sounds like brutal murder put into sound, uh, the most insane torture methods, fucking just excruciatingly fast, <laughs> 
and dominant stuff. The base, very, very high in the mix here, and the production, very raw. Uh, this is awesome stuff. Meth methods of execution, guess number three. Coming in at number two, Festival of Death, released in 2001 on Unmatched Brutality Records. Exactly like what it sounds like. Festival of Death, Murder, Brutality, Visceral, Evisceration, Violence, just skull-pounding, Brutality, Body-bashing, Insanity. I mean, it, it, that's exactly what Broadquin is. That's what they will always be. They never compromised. Like I said, Festival of Death, just one of the most insanely fast albums I've ever heard. As I said, this approach is grind in terms of speed, obviously. Song length, you could say, is more grindish as well, as most of their songs don't clock in at over three minutes. But what is here with these albums is something that you can come back to time and time again. While there is a lot of similarities between the releases, the consistency of the band and their goal and their driving insane brutality is just something that cannot be matched. Number two, Festival of Death. Coming in at number one, my favorite album, Instruments of Torture, released in 2000 independently, later reissued on Abater Records in 2001, then reissued again in 2003 on Unmatched Brutality Records. This to me is their crowning jewel. It's the first album I heard from them back in 2001. I was instantly hooked, okay? Nothing about this says nice, nothing about this says safe, approachable, accessible. This is raw, brutal, grinding, fucking viscer evisceration of every goddamn organ in your body, man. This is like being pounded into dust and grinded into a bloody pulp on the ground. That's exactly what this is. Disintegration in its purest form, very raw abrasiveness to the vocals, the guitar work, the drums, the bass. Everything about this is fucking brutal perfection. Need a Broadquin shirt, I need to get their albums. They are one of my favorite bands, and it, when it comes to brutal death metal, the only two bands that can compete with them in my eyes are Nile and Cryptopsy. Old Cryptopsy, obviously, I'm not talking about new Cryptopsy at all, because they only had three good albums, in my opinion, Ungentle Exhumation, Blasphemy Made Flesh, and None So Vile. Everything after that was pretty much not very good, as we know. Okay, Mike DeSalvo on Whisper, Whisper Supremacy. <laughs> garbage okay anyway all hail lord worm but anyway that's not what we're talking about yeah instruments of torture number one from broadquin get anything on this fucking list if you love brutal death metal broadquin is a band that have been overlooked they're not getting overlooked on this channel i'm going to be reviewing everything here i have reviewed instruments of torture if you want to go check out the album reviews playlist it is in there all right guys there you have it another album ranking in the books here on the channel hope you enjoyed the premiere if you're new hit that subscribe button down below turn on the bell for all notifications merchandise available click the store tab on the home page everything is there new stuff will be going up soon janelle has come up with some new designs i posted all of those recently join the channel become an mod elite right now 249 for your first month then 499 per month thereafter Hit the join button, you get access to exclusive content, review requests within reason, band interviews and promotions if I like your band, uh, collaborations and a lot more. Have an awesome night. We will see you guys for Top 15 Thursdays for my Top 15 Metal Albums of 2012 Hails.